Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be carrying on the series but I'm going to be taking you from basically week 0 all the way up to week 16 and throughout that process you'll be learning how to go from wherever you currently are to being a profitable trader. Uh, and that's the idea anyway, if you follow these steps throughout every single week you hopefully will be a profitable trader. Now obviously it's not guaranteed, I'm not going to be guaranteeing that you're going to be profitable but this is the process that I took to be able to trade the, the markets can, like consistency, profitably, all that kind of stuff. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to understand yourself. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the most important uh, videos in the whole series. If you get this wrong, everything you're going to be doing after this is going to be wrong as well. Okay? Now, Obviously not the full 16 weeks, but I would say the probably next four to five weeks are going to be a waste of time. So make sure that you get this right, okay? So the first way is to write down your strengths and weaknesses. Now, this doesn't need to be in trading. This can be in anything. So are you a team player? Um, do you show up on time? Are you consistent? Are you disciplined? patient, if you say something's going to happen, does it actually happen? Uh, all these kind of things, anything to do with your strengths and weaknesses, we'll write it down, put it in a list, and then we'll be using that next week. Okay, so make sure that you do that. Also, write down your successes and your failures in trading. Okay, so the first one was your strengths and weaknesses outside of trading and in trading. And this one is your successes and failures inside of trading. So why are we doing this? Okay, so why are we writing these things down? To be able to sit down and say, I'm good at this, I'm not good at this, is, you know, that's that's something in itself. Okay, and then we're going to be using that to build a strategy around your strengths and weaknesses. For example, okay, if you don't have good patience, then don't trade a long-term strategy, right? Pretty simple. Um, but again, you, that can be flipped and it can be said, if you don't have good patience, then don't sit in front of the charts for six hours a day waiting for a scalping move. Okay, so just because you don't have patience, that doesn't mean that you can't trade a scalping strategy or you can't trade a swing trading strategy. It's just about identifying that you don't have very good patience. So how can you build a strategy that is aligned with that in mind. So this is a really, really key point in your development as a profitable trader. Without knowing what you're good and bad at, you can't then build a system to support you as a trader, right? Your, your system is not the, the crucial thing in you being profitable. I can give you a profitable strategy. There's plenty of them on the um, YouTube channel, but you're going to do something that's going to mess that up if it's not right for you and if you don't have the strengths slash weaknesses that match that strategy. So as I mentioned before, this week is crucial for the next four weeks of your development. Okay, so make sure that you sit down and get it right. Okay, take your time with this. Do not rush it. Okay, there's no need to rush this. You have a week until the next video comes out. So sit down, take your time and actually think about it. Okay. Be reflective on what you're good at and what you're bad at. And really think about what am I really good at? What kind of mistakes do I make? What um, what things do I do right in my trading? You know, is there something that I do consistently without really thinking about it that is really, really good for my trading? You might, I don't know, you might get to the charts at the same time every single day. You might open your charts the same way every single day. You might do the same routine every single day. You might, uh, once you've opened a trade, you might journal it the same every single day without even really trying, okay? That is a massive piece of strength, so write it down. Think about the things that you do when you're trading that you don't even need to think about, but really, really help you to trade. And then on the flip side of that, what are the mistakes that you make? So what mistakes do you make every single time you trade but you consistently do them over and over again. What are those, right? If you're getting into a swing trading position, 
do you close it after a day because you over analyze it and think about it too much okay do you if you're scalping do you open up too many trades um do you forget to journal do you do you forget to journal do you do do you not get at the time at the do you not get at the charts every single day at the right time do you sometimes miss a trade because you're I don't know, watching YouTube or playing a game or doing watching a film. What mistakes do you make consistently that are actually ruining your trading? So write all these things down, okay? It's gonna be big, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna be a big list. If you really sit down and think about it, it's gonna be a big list. So once you've done that, you're now prepared for week four. In week four, we're gonna be doing some trading plan development. So this is where the, the, the actual trading really kicks in okay i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of you that have been waiting for this week or waiting for next week i should say um so make sure that you've done everything up to that week because the the weeks before you're actually building your trading plan that's where the actual profit comes in later down the road if you mess the last three or four weeks up nothing is going to matter for the following 16 weeks I'm being serious. You need to make sure that you have a strong foundation before you move on to actually doing the training. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions about it or want me to clarify anything, put it in the comments below and I will get back to you. I hope you have an amazing day. If you enjoyed it, don't hit the subscribe button because we are coming out with weekly videos in terms of this series. You don't want to miss it. Um, have an amazing day and remember traders, trade happy.